Good evening, Henry Giovanni. Hello, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. It is exactly the time to get started. Thanks for joining just in time. And we are going to get started, okay? While the others join, I'm going to share my PPT with you as every single day. So here we go, okay? Uh, here, let's see. Here we go, it is loading. From the beginning, today is October 4th, 2023, correct? And here we have in our agenda the welcome, the welcoming that I gave you because you are uh, the moment my only students. We're going to read the objectives and today you're going to continue using the simple past in yes, no questions. I expect that we're going to be writing questions about past events, asking and answering questions about past events at work reading a conversation about past events at work and answering comprehension questions, then sharing the answers with your classmates, okay? So let's continue. And here we go. Uh, I think that you finish your homeworks and evaluations. Yes, Henry? Mm -hmm. you, you finished everything. Yeah. Okay, excellent, great. Uh, just for the others to remind them that it is necessary to have the 80% as an average in the homeworks and evaluations, right? And the attendance, obviously, that is mandatory. Welcome, Danny, and welcome, Susan, to the class. Teacher. Hi, welcome. Okay, remember the requirements for every day in classes, your full name, uh, camera on, minimize the sound as much as possible unless you are told not to do so in active participation. Remember, only today's class and tomorrow's class. Only two more classes and then the level is finished, okay? So let's try to practice. And again, a reminder for the attendance, it is expected that you keep connected the 100% uh, of the two classes because two hour classes, okay? Uh, 120 minutes each class that we have been meeting here in this virtual class. Again, just a reminder from at about 8.20 and at about 9.40, I'm going to be, um, you know, calling your names to take the attendance, the first and the second. Just remember that you need to say here, present, present, here I am or uh, you have to activate your microphone when you listen to your name. And again, the one-on-one -on -one session is uh, going to be able for one of you at the end of the class. And I cannot give you permission to be absent in class, okay? To skip classes, I don't have the authority to do that. Okay, here, this is the expectation that all of you have the camera on because it is expected that you are in a training course, you have to participate. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. So, but as you are doing right now, the microphone off. Camera must be on. The two chats are available via WhatsApp, via Zoom. The breakout rooms also available for you to work on them. And the bottom for ask for help will be available in the breakout rooms in case that you need me and I am monitoring another group. Respect above all, among all the participants in this class, okay? And then here, we are here in week number four, okay? So today is October the 4th. Tomorrow, uy, uh, October the 5th, it's going to be the last day for this class. So tomorrow is the last class, okay? Says so that, here we go. Okay, I need one volunteer in order to help me read in this. I expect to cover the agenda today. Hello, yeah, one volunteer. Sure. Thank you, great. Mm -hmm. Begin. Objectives, general objectives. Participants will be able to use the verbs be in the past, yes, no. Question for reading an email. A specific objective, participant, will be able 
to write an email recommending a workshop and training using simple past class objectives. At the end of the class, participants will be able to write an email recommending a workshop or training using simple past. Thank you so much. Very well done. Great. Excellent. And now here we have, okay, if you remember, this is a feedback of what we did in the previous class. We were using the past tense of be in order to ask questions about situations in the past. Yesterday, we were reading this uh, information in the box, the first box, and on the second box. And you were, what were you doing? You were writing questions. Yes, information questions in past tense in relation to these two paragraphs. Is that okay? Okay, so I'm going to share this part in the manual so you can practice reading. Okay, over here. So you can practice reading because practice makes perfect. Okay, here. I need one volunteer to read the first paragraph in English, please, as part of the feedback to recall what we studied in the previous class. Okay, who is going to help me reading this first paragraph aloud? Read number one. Yes. On November first. First, I about a spare part for the printer uh, and a spare ES. The price was three hundred. The brand was right Wells. The customer service was was great because we received all the information we needed. Great, excellent. Now I need another participant to help me reading the second paragraph. Thank you, Oscar Eduardo. On January 2nd, I bought the reads parts that were, were requested. The price was $30 each and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Very well, congratulations, excellent. So that was part of the feedback on what we did yesterday. But also, if you remember, you were asking and answering these two questions. Where do trainings take place in your company? And who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace? Yes, you were interacting in the breakout rooms. And also, we went over the practice of this conversation between Mrs. Lewis. Okay, you don't say Mr. No, because Mr. is for a man, for a gentleman. But Mrs. is a married woman. A married woman who uses the husband's last name. That's why we say Mrs. Lewis, because we have an S in the title. Okay, Her title is Mrs., not Miss. Mrs. Lewis. And hi, Eric. How's it going? How's it going? You join these two words. Is it going? No. You don't say, how is it going? No. How is it going? How is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable, knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Talked about, you don't pronounce the letter L in the verb talk, neither in present nor in past. He talked about, yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was uh, some minutes, minutes late. And we left very late because they had to recover okay, the minutes that he arrived late. Okay, I need two volunteers to read this practice. Raise your hand because I don't see everybody in class. Two okay. participants, okay. 
Okay, Danny, you are uh, Eric. I need another participant to read Mrs. Lewis, Oscar Eduardo, begin. One, two, three, go for it. Hi, Eric. Oh. Okay, tu <laughs> primero, dale. Okay. Hi, Eric, how is going on? How is going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. Mrs. Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. <clears throat> now, what's the training? How was the training? It was excellent. The experience had a lot of the experience, and he was very knowledge. knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics and he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used the computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Thank you so much. Very well. Two more participants to read this conversation. Two more volunteers. My teacher. Okay, Jill. Okay, Jill, uh, you are Mrs. Lewis and Evelyn, I think you are Eric. Okay, one, two, three, go for it. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mrs. Sorry, yo escuché que dijo mi nombre la teacher. Okay, thank you, Evelyn, because I don't see all the names, all the all, all in here. Okay, Ursula, Celine, please, you read Eric. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for it, for asking. You're welcome. How how was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide them. Sounds good. So everything was fine, mm -hmm. right? Why well, he was Four minutes late, and we left very late. Thank you so much. Very well. Now, Evelyn, you are going to read Mrs. Lewis, and I need one more participant to read Eric. Noé, are you available? Ah, Guillermo Eduardo. Okay, Guillermo Eduardo, you are Eric, and Evelyn reads Mrs. Lewis. Let's begin. Okay. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a, a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he has some minutes, uh, he was some minutes late, and we left very late. Thank you so much, very well. And this is part of the feedback on what we did yesterday, right? Excellent. And you also, if you remember class, you were answering these three information questions based on the information that you were practicing reading here, yes? Okay, it was good. And no. 
there was something else. Do you remember that you had an extra practice? And I told, there was a conversation and I told you that today we were going to continue with that conversation. Do you remember, class? Mm, let me see, where is it? Okay. This is the one, okay, here we go. Okay, you were asking these questions. Where do trainings take place in your company? Who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace? And you were answering, okay? This is what you have been practicing, right? And we went over these questions. You were building these questions if you remember, yes or no? Yes, you were building yes. these questions. And you were completing this conversation, yes or no? Using was and where. Hello, Pam. Where were you last month? Hi, Andy. I was in the USA in Miami. What was it like? It was great. The sea was calm and the weather was incredible. And what uh, was the hotel like? Fantastic. There was a casino and there were four movie theaters. What? Uh, what uh, were the people like? They were charming and friendly. Remember, people is always plural, okay? Now to participants to read this conversation. I'm going to wait. Miss Minero, are you doing? Yes, yes, only read. Miss. Okay, Miss Minero, you're going to read uh, Andy. And who else is going to help Miss Minero? Who's going to read Pam? One. Um, okay. Um, um, Tani, you're going to read Pam. Okay. Let's begin. Ready, Daniel? Yes. Okay. Miss Minero, you begin. One, two, three. Go for it. Hello, Pam. Where were you last month? Hi, Andy. I was in the U. I were. Um, in the USA, I I uh, was in the USA. I was in the USA, USA, no, USA, <laughs> USA, uh, and I in, in Miami. I was in Miami. Ahí también le tengo que agregar. Yes, mi mm. es eh, minero. What was it like? It was great. The sea was cold and the water was in incredible. In what? In what was the hotel like? Fantastic. There were a casino in there. Work for movie theaters. What? What were? what were the people like? They were? They were uh, they were charming and uh, friendly. And friendly, friendly, very well. Remember. Pam says, fantastic, there was a casino and there were four movie theaters, yes? Okay, this is what we were practicing yesterday. And right now, we're going to start with the topic for today. But before we continue, I'm going to call your names in order to take your first attendance. Here we go. Ana Cristina. Miss Ana Cristina is not available at the moment, okay. Andre, hello, Andre. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Arely, Arely Isabel Campos, she's not available. Okay, Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Dani Ernesto Membreño. 
present. Thank you. David Emanuel. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Daisy Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Esaú. Edwin Esaú, where are you? Edwin, I haven't seen him today. Okay, Miss Minero. Thank you, Miss Evelyn Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Jilly Bon. Present. Thank you, Guillermo Eduardo. Present. Thank you, uh, Guillermo Eduardo Henry Giovanni. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Beatriz, Miss Jennifer. Absent at the moment. Uh, Juan Eduardo Flores, Mr. Flores. Edward Flores. Absent at the moment. Okay. Catherine Beatriz. Miss Catherine, absent at the moment. Katia Maria. Miss Katia, absent at the moment. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Miguel Angel Santos. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Eh, Noé Gustavo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo. Present. Thank you. Oscar Humberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Reina Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Miss. Rosalie Yvonne. Present. Thank you, Miss. Sonia. I saw you, Sonia. Where are you? Sonia. <gasps> Absent. Susan. Caroline. Present, teacher. Carolina. Okay, great. Ursula Esteli. Present. Thank you. Great. Okay, let's continue class. Here we go. Okay. Remember that only today and tomorrow the class. Okay, then. And um, by the way, congratulations, class. Great job. Almost, almost all of you, at least uh, in the morning that I was double checking because I updated the, you know, the, the grades and the, and the list for the report for the um, administration and also for Instaform, almost everybody is done, but there are still some people who are owing me part of uh, section three, section four and the final test. And there is about one or two students who has to take the examining week number two, the midterm test. Make sure that everything is done, please, okay? And if you have any problem, please report it. So congratulations, class. Very well done. Now, class, let's continue. And here we go. Okay? What are we going to do today, class? Okay, here I'm sharing my screen. Let's reinforce how to use simple paths for yes, no questions. We are going to use the simple past yes no questions to get information on past situations like we did yesterday and the day before yesterday. The structure is did plus the subject plus the verb plus the complement and we never forget the question mark. Did the speaker use a computer in the speech? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. That is why these questions are called yes, no questions, because you have two choices to answer affirmative or to answer negative. Yes or no. Okay. Because information question is when you give the full answer. Now, did the listeners ask questions? Yes, they did. Or no, they didn't. Correct. 
Now let's have a brief feedback on this structure. And you are going to help me class, okay? You are going to be participating over here actively and here. Okay, let's remember uh, the structure. Remember that we have do in simple present the modal auxiliary, but because the verb, the modal auxiliary do ends in O in simple present, when we use it for third person singular, we use does, why? Because let's remember that as a rule, when the verbs, and in O, the last letter is O, but they are used in simple present with third person singular, he, she, it, we add ES. That is why we use do for I, we, I, you, we, they, correct? If I mistake, please tell me, okay? So I can correct it. And we use does for uh, he, she, it, correct? This is in present when we don't have the verb to be. But in past tense, we change do for did. And there is no special person. No, we use did for I, you, um, he, she, it, we, you, they. We are going to use did to build questions with all the personal pronouns. Singular, plural. First person singular, second person singular, third person singular, okay? First person plural, second person plural, and third person plural. Is that okay? Are we clear up to this moment? Yes? Okay. Teacher, did this for this the last one that put, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, hold it. There, this one, okay? In past tense. Este lo vamos a usar cuando formulamos preguntas en tiempo pasado, pero no tenemos el verbo to be, porque cuando está el verbo to be, ya no usamos did, sino el verbo to be, ¿de acuerdo? Y no hay sujeto especial. Se usa did con todas, afirmativas, negativas e interrogativas. Is that okay? And then, for example, the structure goes like this. If I say did, I know. Okay, like this. Did you do the homework? Did you do the homework? Tell me the affirmative answer, short answer. Yes. What is the answer? I did. Excellent. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Negative answer for this question? No. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. didn't. Very well. No, I didn't. And that's it. That is direct for simple. Uh, for first, for second person to, uh, singular. And now, here we go. If I ask you, did... He mm, play. Uy, did he play? Uy, did he play tennis uh, last night? For example, the short answer should be in affirmative. Yes. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Excellent. Very well. And in negative. No, he, he didn't. No, he. Didn't very well. No, he didn't. Great. Now, if we say, for example, um, did they um, go to the movies uh, on Saturday? Okay. The answer should be yes. They did. They did very well. Or in negative, no. They didn't. 
excellent. No, they didn't. And so on. Is that okay? Do you have any question about this structure? Not Is it clear? Yes? Okay, perfect. Because now it is your turn. How come? Oh, wow. You are going to work building this, okay, questions in exercise five. You are going to write simple past questions using the verb and pronounce in parentheses. You take turns asking the questions you wrote to your classmates. But first, we're going to build this uh, eight questions here, okay? Let's write it, the first one. Let's write the first one as an example for you. You met your boss yesterday, okay? So the modal auxiliary class for the past tense is? Did. Did, very well. So the question should be? Did the subject? You. Did you. Did you. The verb? Um, the verb is meet in yes. base form. Uh -huh, yes. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Notice this. It is very important what uh, Guillermo Eduardo mentioned. When we build the sentences, the interrogative sentences in past tense, you use the modal auxiliary perfectly. You told me the subject and the verb must be in the base form, the present. You don't use the past tense in the question, no. Only in affirmative because in the full form, yes? Because let's imagine that we are going to answer this uh, question in full form. So you notice the difference, but this is not the case, okay? Did you meet your boss yesterday? And then in affirmative, you say, yes, I did. This is the short answer. But in full answer, you say, yes, I met my boss yesterday. Is that okay? So you have here the short answer and the, we, and the full answer. Okay, I is always with capital letter. Okay, yes, I met my boss yesterday. For the full answer, you change the verb from present to past. But in short answer, no, because you only say, yes, I did, no, I didn't. Is that clear? Yes? Yeah. Okay, now only write the questions as I did in this part, okay? Let's begin and when you finish, you tell me, teacher, finish and we're going to double check to make sure that it is correct, okay? Go for it, please. Let's begin.
Remember to tell me when you finish, okay? Okay, almost finished. Not yet. Okay, I'm going to wait. Not yet, people. Evelyn, Jill, Guillermo Eduardo, not yet. Hello, anybody here? Okay, thank you, Evelyn. At least I know that I didn't, I didn't lose the connectivity. Hi, I was concerned. Okay, as soon as you finish, please tell me, okay? Only those eight sentences. Finish, teacher. Thank you, Evelyn. Now we're going to, uh, okay, to see. Okay, so over here, class, in number two, obviously we have to begin with the modal auxiliary did, yeah, did, and the, and the subject, did? Did she attend? Excellent, very well. Did she attend the July, July conference? Next one, they stay. The question should be? Did they stay? Very well. In the middle Number four, he passed the test. Did? Did he pass? Did he pass? Okay. But I think it is with double S, yes or no? Pass. Did he pass the test? Passed. Es pasar y aprobar, ¿verdad? Did he pass? Or pass with double S or with T. Did he pass? No. Like this. Did he pass the test? Then uh, number five, fun at the Christmas party. Did The subject is, which is the subject of the sentence? Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Great, excellent. So you see, you can do it. Number six, it start. Did it? Did it? Start. Start. Start on time. Then number eight, number seven. They leave early. Did, did they leave did. early? Very well. And the last one, he arrived. Did he arrive on time to the conference? Excellent. Did he arrive on time to the conference? Did he arrive on time to the conference? So class, you have, did you meet your bus yesterday? Did she attend the July conference? 
Did they stay in the meeting last night? Did he pass the test? Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Did it start on time? Did they leave early? Did he arrive on time to the conference? Yes. Now, what is the next instruction? Now that we have uh, constructed in a full way, completely, the questions, you are going to take turns asking the questions you wrote to your classmates. If I say, um, Oscar Eduardo, did you meet your boss yesterday? Yes, I did. Excellent. That's it. Or no, I didn't. You may answer affirmative or negative, but short answers. Is that okay? But depending on the subject, because if I say, did she attend the July conference? Your answer should be, yes, she did. No, she didn't. Is that okay? You need to pay attention to the subject of the sentence. If it is you, you answer with I. But if it is not you, the direct of a subject for you, the question, you use the subject that is in the question. Is it clear? Okay, now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Practicing speaking time because you have the the questions over here, okay? And you completed the questions. Everybody participating in the breakout rooms, please. Okay, here, how many? 22. Okay, let me see. Uh, I have only 21 students, so it is kind of difficult. Okay, and then we have over here. Jill, okay. Let me see. And Carla didn't come back. No, she didn't, right? Okay. okay. One, two, three. Okay. And there is another group. Okay. I'm going to share the invitation. There is one group of three. Join your groups, please, and begin asking and answering the questions. You take turns, okay? Let's begin. Join your groups. I sent you the invitation. I share with you the invitation. Okay. Evelyn and Reina. Thank you. Go to your groups. Remember, if you stay here, you don't get the minutes of the attendance. You lose the minutes because the platform doesn't recognize you here because you are assigned to one group, okay? Bye. Hello, Evelyn and Miguel Angel. Are you available to practice? Or oh, no, you're not. Just to... Okay, Evelyn, I'm going to transfer you to another group because you cannot uh, uh, stay alone, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay here we go. Go to group uh, number five. Okay, Evelyn. And let me see.
Hello class. Oscar Eduardo and Jill Menjivar. Are you available to participate? Oscar Eduardo and Jill? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, here, okay, hold it. One of your partners is joining, uh, but she is a listener. Okay, hold it. Okay, do you feel comfortable practicing the two of you here or do you want me to join you to another group? Uh, because I don't know if Miss Susan is available. Okay. Eh, I don't know. ¿Se sienten bien mm. acá o quieren que les una a otro equipo para que, para que practiquen? Porque solo ustedes dos están. Eh, Susan sí. es, no está disponible. Okay, here we go. Por Let's favor. see. Let's see because they are coming and getting back. Okay, here. Okay. Okay. I have to go to group number two. And Susan. It's not available. Okay, Susan is a listener. Move to group one. Hello, did you finish the practice? Um, only practice and asking and answering, but all of yes. you, okay? Because here you are Noe Gustavo, Catherine Beatriz, Oscar Eduardo, Carlos Rivas, Maritza Elizabeth, and Edwin Esaú. Did you ask to all of the partners? Yes. Tenemos que responder de las dos maneras, corta y Yes, larga. no, only the short answer. But for example, Danny, if you ask a question to Noe, Noe answers. Noé asks the questions to another classmate, yeah? Oh, okay. The idea okay. is that all of you practice saying the questions and okay. the answers, okay? Okay, okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, continuamos. Did they mm -hmm. stay in the meeting last night? Who is going to answer? ¿Quién va a contestar? Yo, pero ¿cuál es? Que me preguntas. Only you. Uh, number three. Number three. Number three. The, the they stay in the meeting. There's nine. No. No, they didn't. Okay. Did they pass the test? Stay. Did Number they pass four. the test? The number four. Ah, number four. He de, he pa, ah, okay. Yo lo contesto. Okay. No, he didn't. Very well. Did you did you have fun at the Christmas party? No. No, I. No, I didn't. Okay, very well. Did did it start on time? Did you finish asking and answering the questions, class? Everybody participated? Mm, only Guillermo and I, teacher. <gasps> and Henry Giovanni, Evelyn Yamilet, Carla Minero, and Jill Menjivar, what happened? I don't know. I am a feminist. All of you, the instruction was take turns to ask the questions and answering. The idea was that all of you have to ask the questions, okay? Guillermo, ask the questions to Miss Carla Minero, please. Guillermo Eduardo. Are you there, Guillermo Eduardo? No, he's not available. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, sorry. 
Ask the questions to Miss Minero, please. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Yes, I did. Did she attend the July conference? Yes, she did. Did they stay in the meeting last night? No, they don't. Did he pass the test? No, they didn't. Sorry? Did he pass the test? Yes, he did. Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Yes, I have. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did it start on time? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It didn't. Mm -hmm. Did they leave early? No, they didn't. Did he arrive on time to the conference? No, he didn't. Okay, thank you so much. Now, Evelyn asked the questions to Henry Giovanni. Okay. Henry Giovanni, hello. <laughs> Evelyn, begin. Did you Evelyn? How did you go into work today? Excuse me? Evelyn, do you know the questions that you have to ask? Las mismas preguntas. Yes, que... these questions. Uh -huh. okay. These ones. Did you meet your boss yesterday? No, he didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't sleep for a long. Did Did you attend the July conference? Yes, she did. No, did you? Did, did you? No. She, no, but she said, did you? What did you say, Evelyn? Repeat. Because here we have the day, but you didn't say day. Okay, Evelyn, repeat the question. Did Evelyn. Uh, no. Did she? Miss, you have the questions here. I am sharing the questions. Did she attend? Question number two. Yes. Okay. Yes, she did. Okay, good. Next one. Did they stay? In the meeting last night? Yes, they did. Did he pass the test? No, he didn't. Did you have fun at the Christmas party? No, I didn't. Did it start on time? And yes, it did. Did they leave early? No, they didn't. Did he arrive on time to the conference? 
Yes. It is. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Now let's return to the main session room. Thank you. Our next activity class goes like this. Exercise number six at page 44, okay? You are going to write seven questions about past events and you interview one of your classmates. Then share the answers with your class, okay? Write seven questions. This is individually. Write seven questions about past events in your company. For example, similar to these ones, okay? Did you, okay, one example could be, did you like the meeting? Yeah, I don't write the question mark because I have it here. Another one could be, uh, did they arrive on time for the conference? Yes, in other events. And I, okay, but this should be capital letter because it is the beginning of the sentence. And another one could, it, could be, uh, did, uh, did they invite you to the Christmas, to the Christmas party? Yes, they did or no, they didn't. Yes, so you have to write seven questions over here about the events in your company. These are just three ideas, but you use your imagination. Uh, for example, did he like the baby shower? Did you like the cake for the birthday celebration? Yes, okay, use your imagination. To build seven questions. When you finish, you tell me, teacher, finish, and then you are going to interview one of your classmates, okay? Is the instruction clear, class? Hello? Yes, okay, great. I think that five minutes are enough or less, maybe. As soon as you finish, please tell me so we can continue with the second part of the activity, okay? Okay.
Remember, class, you are going to construct only the questions, okay? No answers, only questions. The answers are going to be given by your classmates, the ones that you are going to interview. Almost finished. Not yet, class. Almost or not at all? Finish. Excellent, Danny. Very well. Great. Let's wait. One more minute for the others to finish, and then we go over the second part of activity number six because you have to interview your classmates. I think in, I finished. Excellent, Mr. Flores. Thank you, Edward. Okay, let's wait a couple of seconds for the others. Finished, teacher. Thank you, Guillermo Eduardo.
teacher. Did I do sentences on the fire or or any only, else idea? Only only questions about okay about events, past events in your company. Mm -hmm. um, sentences. I know. Because here you have the instruction. Write seven questions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wrote three examples here. I said only questions because here you are going to write the answer. Let's imagine. Uh, Guillermo Eduardo, are you ready for my question? Yes, teacher. Okay. Guillermo Eduardo, did you like the meeting? Mm, no, I, I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't. And I write here his answer, yeah? This is what you are going to do. That's why I told you, you only write the questions because your classmates are going to tell you the answers that you are going to write over here. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. So now, class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout room so you can have a a practice on this, the same as I did with Guillermo. Eduardo is what you are going to do. I'm going to ask him my seven questions and I write his seven answers. Later, he asks me his seven questions and I answer and he writes my answers in his book. Is that okay? Okay, so here we go. Let's see. We are going with... We are going to recreate the groups. Mm. How many people in each group? Uh, okay. Mm. But four. Mm. One, two. The problem is that mm. okay, because I have three, four, three, four, five on this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to share. Remember, you are going to ask one classmate and he asks you, okay? Or you alternate with the team, with the people in the group. Because I recreated the groups. I asked the platform to recreate the groups. We are going to work with different classmates right now, okay? Join your groups. There is one, uh, Daisy Carolina. Okay, Daisy Caroline. Hello class, here you are, Eduardo Flores, for you there is one student. Okay. Uh, Daniel Ernesto, um, Eduardo Flores, Oscar Eduardo, and Daisy Carolina. Are you available, Daisy? Daisy Carolina, are you going to participate? 
Yes. Okay, so here we work in pairs, correct? Okay, thank you, Daisy. Okay. Uh, Edward maybe ask the questions to Danny. Danny ask the questions to Edward. Oscar Eduardo ask the questions to Daisy, and Daisy ask the questions to uh, Oscar Eduardo. Is that okay? That is one okay. idea, but you decide, okay? That is my opinion, or you may change it, no problem to me, okay? Let's begin because time is flying, okay? See you. Okay. Okay, Daniel. Did they arrive late last Monday? Danny, the question, did uh, they okay. arrive yes, late? Did. No, because they, yes, they did. Uh, you, repeat you, again, please. You have to pay attention to the subject of the sentence. Okay, repeat did, the question. Did they arrive late last Monday? They, okay. Yes, they didn't. Did you finish asking and answering the questions, plus uh, Guillermo Eduardo, Carla Minero, Gil Mejibar, and Carlos Rivas? Hello, somebody here? Nobody is available. Yes, it's sure. Only you? No, we get. And Miss Minero. Okay, hold it. So now we should... Um, okay, maybe Guillermo and Carla and Jill and Carlos Rivas. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin the practice asking and answering. Okay, did you wake up early today? Yes, I did. Uh -huh. mm. Ahorita voy a cambiarme de conexión. Okay. Okay, only Maritza Elizabeth and Evelyn. Yes. Okay, Mr. Custodio is not available. Okay. Are you okay here or do you want me to transfer you to another group, girls? Eh, ya, ya habíamos empezado, teacher. Ah, okay, great. Sí, nomás que creo que le está fallando la conexión a la compañera. Oh, that is me everything. escucha ahora. Yes. Sí. Mm, okay. Did you water the plants? Did you? Water the plants. Mm -hmm. Water yes. the plants. Regaste las plantas. Yes, I did. Okay. Did, did enjoy the last Christmas party? Okay, please, please, for. Did okay. they enjoy last Christmas party? Yes, they did. Okay, we finished this. Uh... Great, I have some questions for you. Noe, did you swim in the river last Friday afternoon? Did you swim in the river last Friday afternoon? No, no, I didn't. Good. Uh, Miss Ursula Esteli, did you go to the supermarket yesterday night? Yes, I did. Did you did you go to the supermarket yesterday yes. night? I, yes, yes, I did. I did very mm -hmm. well. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Noe, did you have a breakfast at home uh, yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay, Ursula, 
Did you cook dinner for the family today? Did you cook dinner for the family? Yes, I did. Okay, excellent. No he gustado. Okay. Um, let me see. Did you arrive on time at work? Uh, please, did you? Did you arrive Hi. on time early at work this morning? Yes, I did. Excellent. Very well. Ursula Esteli, one more question. Okay. Did you drink water yesterday? Yes, I did. No he gustado. Did you drink uh, soda last weekend? Yes, I did. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't. You should have told me, no, I didn't. I, I drank lemonade or water. Yeah. Poquita. Uh, a little. Okay. Just a little. Just a little. Okay. Uh, Ursula, did you eat pupusas last weekend? No, I didn't. Okay, Noe, did you eat chicken last week? No, I didn't. Are you a, very, a vegetarian? No, I didn't. No, I am not. Are you? Uh, no, okay. I am not. Okay. okay, are you, Noe? Are you a vegetarian? Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I am. Yes, a, I am. A, a vegetarian. A vegetarian. Sí, me gusta bastante, pero no tanto. Okay, tanto not full, but kind of, more or less. Yeah. Okay, more great. Less. Now let's get back to the main session room, okay? Thank okay, you for your participation. You. Very well. Okay, here we go. I let's wait for the other partners, okay? Let's wait for the others. But while they are doing that, I'm going to share with you. Let me see. No. no, this was the feedback. This was part of the feedback. This is the one. Okay. Over here. I'm going to share it with you right now. Thank you so much, class, for coming back. Right now, you are going to ask and answer the questions that I have shared with you. Mm, via WhatsApp, okay? And they are exercise one. When was the last time you attended a training? What was the training about? Only those two questions, okay? In five minutes, you ask and answer. You take turns asking, or maybe one of you is going to ask the questions to the rest of the, of the group. Is that okay? okay? You have them in your WhatsApp. Okay, in the group. So here we go. Okay, go to your groups. Okay, Catherine, I share with you the, the, the indication.
Katerina, I share with you the, the, the invitation so you can join your group. Pero sí, pero me, me sacó de la plataforma. Pero en este momento se la acabo de compartir. Ok, la transfiero a un equipo y luego la envío de nuevo, ok. Va, está bien. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Do you see it? No, no me parece todavía. No la visualiza. No. Ok, la voy a, a de nuevo. ¿Está en teléfono o en computadora, Katherine? En teléfono. Ah, entonces eh, visualice bien ahí, ok. La voy a transferir nuevamente. Uh -huh. Katherine Beatriz. ¿Y ahora, Katherine? No, teacher. Mueva el, el, la ventana, el teléfono. Tal vez en otra ventana le aparece la invitación. No, nada. Pero, vale, veamos. Nuevamente ¿Puedo? vamos, Caterin. Nuevamente, nuevamente, Caterin. Ajá. Lo acepté, pero okay. solo me salió. Ahorita sí, ya me apareció. Ok, ok, great. Yeah. Okay, did you finish asking and answering the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, did you ask the questions to Edwin Esaú? No. Okay, ask the questions, but it's uh, to Edwin Esaú. Edwin Esaú, get ready to answer the questions. Okay, teacher. Edwin, okay. when was the last time you attend um, training? De... ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que asistió a un, a un entrenamiento o capacitación? Fue eh, was the, la, the last time in Friday. On Friday. On Friday. Ok. Ok. What was the training about? The training was about the new process for using invoice, invoice, invoices. invoices, invoices via email. Yeah, the electronic, the electronic bills, yes. The electronic mm. recipes, yes. receipts, receipts, receipts. Uh -huh, uh -huh, the electronic receipts. Ah, oh, okay, that's interesting. Yes. Okay, excellent. Very well. Okay, so here I think that everybody's done. Give me 10 seconds, okay? Finished. Hello? Knock, knock, somebody here? Somebody home? Jill Mengíbal, Carlos Eduardo, Carla Minero, Henry Giovanni, Guillermo Eduardo? Nobody. Oh, oh my God. Are you available? Jill Yes. El caso, yes. Que, el caso que yo ahorita no puedo hacer mucho porque estoy de oyente, estoy ocupado. Well, that was recorded. Bueno, quedó en la grabación. Ok, Guillermo Eduardo, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay, did you practice with someone asking and answering the questions? No, I didn't. What happened? Carlos Rivas, Carla Minero, and Jill Menjivar, they are available. Mm, they didn't talk. <gasps> okay. 
let's return them to the main session room because time flies and we need to go over the other topics. Okay, class, now we're going to read the conversation, okay? The conversation goes like this. Jack and Julie. Hi, Julie, this is Jack. How are things going? How are things going at work? Hello, Jack, everything is fine, thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot, okay? Hi, Julie, this is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack, everything's fine. Thanks, how about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot, okay? To participants to practice this conversation in here. Okay, thank you, Edwin and Saúl. You're going to be Jack. I need somebody else to read Julie. Okay. Hello? Who's going to read Julie? Me, sure. Okay, Miss. Hi. Okay, uh, who's uh, me? One lady. Carla. Okay, Carla. You read Julie. Let's begin. One, two, three. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going to add work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know of you attending a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? It meant the training. Did you feel it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practice. I personally learned a lot. Okay, thank you. Remember, did you find it find it helpful? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. First aid and prevention. What else? Let me see. Uh, that's it. Okay. So 
class, you are going to practice this conversation in the breakout rooms. But you read the first time, later you switch roles. When you finish that activity, you are going to answer these three questions, okay? What type of training did Julia attend? Did she find the training of great help? In your opinion, how often should trainings take place? This is personal, in your opinion, okay? But before we go over this activity, I'm going to take the attendance, the second chance for today. Remember class, we, we are working at page, let me see, 45, okay? So here. <clears throat> Rosalie Bon, Rosalie, Rosalie is absent. Um, Sonia Esmeralda, present teacher. Thank you. Susana Carolina, Susan, absent. Ursula Estelí. Present teacher. Thank you, Ms. Ursula Esteli. Um, Reina Elizabeth. Reina. Okay, thank you, Reina. Oscar Humberto. Oscar Humberto. Oscar Humberto Argueta, absent. Eduardo Meléndez, Oscar Eduardo Meléndez. Present. Thank you. Noé Gustavo. Present. Nunez, thank you. Miguel Ángel Santos Cortés. Miguel Ángel Santos Cortés. Absent. Maritza Elizabeth. Maritza. Present. Thank you, Miss Maritza. Katia Maria, absent today, right? Katia is absent. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Juan Eduardo Flores. Present. Thank you, Jennifer Beatriz, absent. Henry Giovanni. Present teacher. Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you to both of you. Jill Yvonne Menjibar. Yvonne Menjibar. Jill Yvonne, absent. Evelyn Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Miss Carla Minero. Present. Thank you, Miss. Edwin Esaú. Edwin Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Daisy Carolina. Uh, David Emanuel, absent. Present teacher. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Mm. Mr. Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Arely Isabel Campos, absent. Andrei, Andrei Pardo Camacho, absent. Present teacher. Ay, okay. Ana Cristina, Miss Ana Cristina, Absent. Okay, class. Now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Okay. Everybody, please participating in the conversation at page 45 and you answer the questions. You take turns. Okay. Let's practice because only tomorrow's class. Okay. Join your groups, please. Go to your groups. Um, okay. Here.
And in this group, Carlos Rivas and Carla Minero, are you going to participate, practice in the conversation? Are you available? Okay. Okay, you are available, Carlos. And Carla, Carla Minero? Yes. Okay, you read the conversation, you switch roles, and you answer the, the questions, okay? Please. Okay. Great Thank you. Can you like this is Jack? How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? You're perfect, look. I want to know if you attend at Okay, and here uh, Eduardo Flores, who is going to practice with you? Danny? Daniel, are you available? Yes. Okay, let's begin practicing the conversation. And Oscar Eduardo, are you available? Yes. Okay. And Daisy, are you going to participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's begin. Uh, Eduardo Flores and Daniel. Teacher. Yes. Can you send a picture uh the WhatsApp? Ah, okay, Please. great. Okay, okay, okay. Hold it. Okay, here. Thank you, Miss. Okay, my pleasure. Right now. There you are. I think that's the one. Let me check. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let me see. Oh, yes, that's it. Okay, begin practicing the conversation because time flies, okay? And answer the questions, please. Okay. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. Okay. Um, the other... Edwin Esaú and Guillermo Eduardo. Okay. Okay. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are, how are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about, uh, how about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attend a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training he attended was about first and eight in probation. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of use were places with the speakers and practices and personally learning a lot. Hi Julie, this is Jack. How are things at work? Hello Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Yes, perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attend was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did I take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, I mean the training. Did you find I? Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were placed with the speakers and practice practices. 
I personally learn it a lot. Okay, now answer the questions, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, last question. No preguntas. Yes. The first question is what type of training did Julia attend? Uh, attend was about first I I and prevention. And prevention. It was about first aid and prevention. The second question is, did she find the training of great help? Sí. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. That is the question. That is the answer. That Yes, she did. Um... Yes. Because yes, that is he, the answer. Because the question is, did she? So you answer yes, she did. Okay. Yes, she did. Okay. Yes. In your opinion, how often should training take place? In my opinion, I think it depends on the area. Because uh, in my company, uh, the health department and the mission department um, attend a lot of training, a lot of training because the um, brand uh, demand of the trainings about the, the brand. And, and she attend, they attend uh, very frequently training. training. Okay. How about you, Noe? In okay. your opinion, how often should training take place? In my opinion, uh, very frequent to training new staff. And how about you, Catherine? In your opinion, how often should training take place? Uh, you are only Ursula, Estelia, and Noe Gustavo because the other partner lost the connectivity. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, but just at the moment that you were going to ask, uh, vanished. Okay. Let's return to the main session. Room. Okay. Okay, but at least Thank you practice the conversation, I... okay? I know with the internet in our country, um, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Uh, take yes. problems every day is a headache. Every yeah? day. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. return to the main session room. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Let's wait for the other teams. To come back.
Very well, class. Now let's provide the answers to the questions, okay? We hold it. This is the book. So for question number one, what type of training did Julie attend, class? Hello. It was uh, for first aid and prevention. Excellent. So it was about it was about first aid and prevention. Yes. And question number two: Did she find the training of great help? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And now this is your opinion, okay? You tell me. Let me see. Mm, the question goes to, the finger will tell me. Catherine Beatriz. Catherine Beatriz, are you available? Catherine Beatriz. Catherine Beatriz. She's absent. Okay, let's see someone else. Evelyn Jamilet, are you available? Evelyn Jamilet? Yes, teacher. Okay, in your opinion, Evelyn, how often should trainings take place? Question number three. Okay. In my opinion, the training. The training should take place. Yes. Or take place twice a year. Twice a year, two times in a year. Thank you. Now let's listen to another opinion. Here we go. Hmm. Jill Yvonne, are you available, Yvonne Menjivar? Yvonne Menjivar, are you available? No, you're not. What about uh, Guillermo Eduardo? Are you available? Guillermo Eduardo? Yes, teacher. Okay, Guillermo. In your opinion, how often should trainings take place? I think um, that is important the, the, the training uh, should be often, very, very often. Very often. Okay, thank you so much. Noé, are you available, Noé? Hello, uh, Noe. In my opinion, very frequent to very adhere frequently. Uh -huh. uh, new knowledge, knowledge. And, training, and training new staff. To acquire new knowledge and they should be training the new staff. Excellent. Good opinion. Now let's listen to another participant. Katia Maria, Katia, are you available? Katia, no, she's not. Okay, I'm going to check who is available here and who is not. Uh, Maritza, in your opinion, hello, Maritza. Maritza, hello. Okay, how often should uh, should people should the companies train the the staff? Once a month. Once a month. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you so much. And let's see somebody else who is available. Eduardo Flores, what's your opinion about it? Mr. Flores, Mr. Flores. Eduardo. Eduardo Flores, hello. Hello. Okay, question number three is for you, sir. In your opinion, how often should trainings take place? It's a uh, how training take place often. Very often. Continuous. Continuous. Continuously. Continuously. Yeah. Okay. Very well. So listen. Where is the okay? The book is here. Okay, class, today we practice uh, how to use 
the simple past for yes, no questions, yeah? You were writing questions, okay? Using the modal auxiliary did. You practice the short answers, affirmative and negative. You practice orally. Also, you build questions, original questions in past tense, and you interviewed your classmates in the breakout rooms. Is that okay? You went over the first exercise, okay? Asking and answering these two questions. You practice and you switch roles in this conversation and you answer these comprehension questions, yeah? Tomorrow, we're going to continue with, okay, the recommendation, which kind of trainings would you recommend, yeah? And I need you to activate your cameras, please. Let's activate the cameras. Cameras on so I can take the picture, the penultimate picture because tomorrow is the last one. Thanks a lot. Edwin, Esau. Okay, here we go to the count of three, okay? To the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. Say yes. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Uy. Okay, I'm going to share the picture and I'm going to tell you who is going to stay here with me, okay? Me voy a decir quién se va a quedar el... Um, uh, according to the list, it is the turn for Mr. Guillermo Eduardo. Eduardo, Guillermo, Guillermo Eduardo, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Thanks Thank for joining. You. Tomorrow Thank is the you. last class. Have If you are night. owing me something, si algo me deben en la plataforma de aprendizaje, please finish, okay? But congratulations okay. to most of you who did the job. Okay, bye-bye. Only Guillermo Eduardo stays with the teacher. Take care. Bye-bye. So long. Sweet dreams. Enjoy your evening. Relax. Okay, sleep and see you tomorrow. Bye bye, Andre. Bye bye, Ana Cristina. Bye bye, Carlos Rivas. Okay, bye bye, everyone. Bye bye, Oscar Humberto. Bye bye, Oscar. Okay, Mr. Eduardo, Guillermo Eduardo. Which is your favorite, Edward or Guillermo? Because I don't know. I say Guillermo Eduardo all the time. Mm, most of the people uh, call me Guillermo. Ah, okay. <laughs> But my my Your aunt, favorite? Uh -huh. <laughs> my aunt, <laughs> she she called me by my my Second last name. name. Yes, yes. Edward. Edward. Okay, okay. And your favorite? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter for me. I didn't okay. have favorite name. That's why I say Guillermo Eduardo. Then, <laughs> okay, Guillermo Eduardo. I'm going to read uh, <clears throat> Julie, and you read Jack. Okay, here we go. You begin. Uh, hi, Julie. This is Jack. How how are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look. I want to know if you attend a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take its place? Uh, it was held at the Crown Plaza. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find, find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. Now let's switch. Hi, Guillermo. This is uh, your teacher. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. Have a... Uh, just perfect. What about you? Okay, just perfect. Look. I want to know if you attended the training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. 
The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It, it was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Uh, do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were placed with the speakers and practice. I personally learned a lot. Okay. Only here uh, in the last part, uh, Guillermo Eduardo, pleased. Pleased. We're pleased. Uh -huh. Okay. And now here we're going to practice the conversation we practiced yesterday. I am Mrs. Luis and you're Eric. Hi, Eric. How's it going? Hello, Mrs. Luis. Uh, I am just fine. Fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a, a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. I don't know how to, <laughs> to pronounce that word. Knowledgeable. 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 Okay. That's it. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Now let's switch. You Hi, begin. Eric. How is it going? Hello, uh, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and uh, he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide example, examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did, and he used the computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late, and we left uh, very late. Oh, okay, here. This is the chance for you to read the information in box number one and box number two. Let's begin. Okay, Mr. Abrego. Okay. Uh, on November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at Spare ES. The price was $300. The brand was Ridwell. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. On January 2nd, I bought the rich, rich parts that were requested. The price was $30 each and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Great, absolutely great. Now here, Eric and Hank. I am Hank, you are Eric. Hi, okay. Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes. I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did. Robert, the price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it 
downtown. Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay. And here, this paragraph about Mary's training. Please be my guest. Okay, Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damage on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary, Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. The only word is of the equipment, to fix the equipment, equipment. equipment. Okay, that's the only one. Here, Lana and Lorna. I am Lana, I read Lana and you read Lorna. Hey Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Uh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. Mm -hmm. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You're right. Okay. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. It sounds great. Tell me everything about it. It was difficult. Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Um, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You're right. Okay, thank you. And probably the last but not the least, all the information about the good employee. Okay, uh, you begin. You are Pedro and I am Max. Okay, good morning. This is Miss Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking um, some reference. <laughs> We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he was, he has, uh, he has that he, that is it required at a ma managerial position? Yes, of course. Now we switch. Uh, good morning. This is uh, Mr. Pedro Rigid. Good morning, Miss Mr. Rigid. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him. As a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings and the feedback we have about it, about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Uh, do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? Yes, of course. Okay, very well. 
And the last one, this short one, okay? Between uh, Mr. Perez and Jackie. You are Mr. Perez, I am Jackie. You begin. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez, this is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company, you are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain to uh, Okay, let me explain this to you first. Okay. Uh, good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I, I, I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I'm afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you. First, blah, 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 okay? Hey, thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Abrego, for your time. Uh, I don't know if you have already finished working on the platform. Yes, I already finished at the mm. beginning of this class. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. Congratulations and have a good night. Hope to see you tomorrow in the last class. Okay, have a good night. See you, teacher. Have see a good you. night. Bye bye. Thanks for your time. Okay, bye bye.